Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and today we are going to prepare bacon-wrapped scallops. And I got the inspiration for this while I was dining at Morton's Steakhouse with a few of my YouTube friends. And we had a great dinner. The meal was perfect, but you know we had to take out a second mortgage to pay for the meal. But other than that, it was a great time. So let's get started. One tip that's necessary is you want to par cook your bacon prior to wrapping it with the scallops because the scallops are going to cook a lot faster than the bacon. So I'm just going to put this in the microwave for a few minutes and cook them about halfway through. I'm going to cover them with a paper towel. We're going to start at about three minutes and we'll check them after that. Okay. Okay, for the sauce, it's really simple. I'm going to use a quarter cup of prepared horseradish, half a cup of apricot jam or marmalade. Get in there and then fresh cracked pepper. I have about a quarter teaspoon that I just cracked from my pepper grinder. You can add more horseradish, less horseradish, more pepper, less pepper. And then we're just gonna whisk this up. This is such a great little sauce for these wrapped scallops. It's so easy. And I think Mort Morton's recommends using smuckers, so that's what I bought. I'll just let that sit, let the flavors meld. Okay, I'm doing six scallops for the video. I was able to get some medium-sized ones. I was hoping to find some jumbo scallops, but I couldn't. Um, real quick, a lot of times your scallops are going to have that rough little muscle piece right there, and you can just tear that off because that's real tough and you don't want to chew on that. So after I remove that, Take your scallop, take a pliable piece of partially cooked bacon, and we're just going to wrap the scallop in the bacon like that. Line them up, take your skewer and go right in between the middle as best you can. And out the side. And there you go. Okay, we're just going to lightly season these with some clarified butter over both sides. And then just a little pinch of sea salt from the heavens. You don't need a whole bunch of salt because you got that salty bacon. Just a tad. I have a pan preheating on high. We're going to drizzle a little bit more of the clarified butter in there. And we're just going to sear one side of these for a couple of minutes. Ooh, look at that. With the sizzle of the butter, the scallop and bacon. We're just gonna get a nice color on that one side for about two minutes. All right, after two minutes, you can see it has a nice color. I'm just gonna drop it back on to the pan. Hey, that one didn't get color. Oh well, not the end of the world. Now at this point, you're gonna stick it into a 500 degree oven, preheated oven, or I'll show you what I do. Okay, I have my grill preheating on high. It's at about 500 degrees in here. I'm gonna set this on the top shelf, close the lid, and they're only gonna go for about another five minutes. You can also put these directly on the grill, but I got them in a pan because those juices that are coming off of there, we're gonna deglaze it. We'll have a little bit of pan jus for the uh, scallops. All right, check this out. Only five minutes has gone by and our wonderful little scallops are done. And you can tell they're done when they're firm to the touch. You can do a little trick. Take your hand and lightly touch your thumb to your pinky. Feel that muscle right there? That's what you want it to feel like. They're done. Look at all that wonderful little juice, pan jus in there. Now I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of sherry wine. Try not to catch myself on fire. Let's move it over here away from the flame. Just gonna add a little bit of sherry in there. Let that sherry do its deglazing action. And that's gonna make for a wonderful little topping when you plate up. Yeah, let's get all those bits and pieces off of there. Oh yeah. Let's 
plate up. We're going to put a couple of spoons of the sauce down and just spread it out. Remove your scallops from the skewer. And let's take a little bit of our pan sauce and just drizzle a little bit into your scallops, maybe a little bit around the edges. And you just cut into it and cut yourself a piece of bacon. Get some of that sauce and pan jus on there. All right, well, I hope you give this easy bacon wrap scallop recipe a try. And as always, thanks for tubing in. Here we go. Oh, wow. Scallop melts in your mouth, the flavor of the bacon, and then that apricot hits you with a little bit of that horseradish. One great recipe. Mm. For more simple and delicious recipes, click on these links. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.